So I will just blame the browser for anything that doesn't work. We were working on this vision simulator. Hey, that's what it looks like when you load it. It does this demo thing where it changes uh, one of the input parameters just to show you what it does. It's a visual vision impairment simulator. Yeah, of which condition it's actually trying to simulate. Do we have blur, which uh, simulates uh, myopia and hyperopia? Maybe we need an expert to check this out. If you are an expert, do let me know. And we had brightness. We have uh, a, this is obviously glare sensitivity. Uh, this could simulate cataracts as well. Uh, let's restart this quickly. Yeah, it does this little demo. This is not me moving the controller just on the page load. It moves by itself if you you can overtake control if you like. And we have contrast sensitivity that uh, modifies the image contrast, mimicking glaucoma and AMD, affecting the perception of light and dark. So that's there. Let's restart again. Those uh, original uh, default values are kind of important, very important. And we also have peripheral vision loss, uh, advanced glaucoma, reducing the peripheral vision, creating tunnel vision. And uh, that's what an extremely advanced tunnel vision will look like. And this is minimal. I don't know if the minimal should go. It's still there. So there's essentially no, a normal case of uh, normal vision. But this stopped working. Something there. I'm sort of finding control thing. I don't think it's a bug in my code. It's probably the I'll just blame the browser for anything that doesn't work for you when using the tool. It's that funny thing in there. It's brighter and you know, I guess that's fine. Yeah, so that's what it does. There's a bunch of uh, explanations at the bottom. The simulator is grounded in the principles of human visual perception. It modifies visual stimuli in ways that mimic the physiological effects of common eye conditions. By adjusting the parameters, one can experience how visual acuity, field of view, color perception, and contrast sensitivity are affected by these conditions, providing a window into the world as seen through different eyes. That's right. The robot is absolutely correct. And we actually potentially might have uh, a, a, an expert a friend on uh, LinkedIn who is an ophthalmology expert who hopefully, if they are watching, would really love for them to have a look at this and see what they think and how we can improve it, make it more complicated. Uh, what can we add to it? Again, we could uh, generate synthetic images out of this as well or take any existing image and turn it into a simulation of what that image would look like when uh, viewed by a person with a, a certain type of uh, vision impairment. For that to happen, it's a Flask application and nothing, importantly, nothing is being sent to my server. So I don't need your face, but I do need your face, but it uh, becomes a privacy a liability. I don't want to like store it or have it on my server. Uh, therefore, the backend doesn't actually do anything. Later on, maybe we could add some sort of simple monitoring of uh, how this tool is being used. Yes, we of course have the HTML. This is what the rendering of which you can see on the screen right now. The whole thing is primarily reliant on this JavaScript code, uh, which doesn't do anything too fancy. It's applying the certain effects by using straightforward maths. The other advantage of uh, a JavaScript uh, when published on my website, you can just uh, access the code as, as it is. So it's essentially like publishing the code. Hopefully you would appreciate that. 
I'll uh, see you later. Let me know if there's any questions. Pop them in the chat. I have to answer any questions as long as they are specific to biomechaos.com. And go check the website if you haven't done so already. There's a lot of interesting tools.